No, where I am at the minute. I'm gonna head back to the police station that was right by me. One this morning, I made sure to log off by a police station. I raided the police station, but then I left the police station, hoping that when I come back, it's all spawning again. Has it? I don't know, yeah, I've got to go back in there. I've upped the amount of spike baseball bats, by the way. Because when I checked earlier, it said um, that I'd asked for 100, but I hadn't put none in. Like a minimum of zero. So I didn't ask for them to be spawned in like a tit. So you might find them. But yeah, you do just need nails and a bat. And a hammer, I think. To make it. No, no, don't touch me. So it's nice having a fan blown on me. <laughs> Literally, I didn't even sleep in my blanket last night. I actually slept on top of my bag, uh, my bed. Stalkers. Ah, uh, my boxes on. Oh, I've got to be careful though. If I sleep naked, so if I like walk out into like uh, the landing. Fucking the curtains always open on the landing and the neighbours are normally outside in the garden. <laughs> oh, you know them nine millimetre bullets that we kept finding, Jay, and we didn't know what they're for. It is for yeah. Them ones. They're for their VSS sniper rifle. Which is the only gun that uses it, basically. Think you found his penis? <laughs> or, or he retracted the foreskin <laughs> in the stench. Oh, you know the um, dot 22 rounds? I decrease the amount of them we find as well. Just because it's only for the Mark II pistol. Nah. Yeah, but it's just not. It's like the worst, if anything, in it. It's like, if it's the only gun that I can find on spawn, and I've found like a box of 50 ammo, then yeah, I'd take it. But, it ain't gonna do much for me. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine.
Fuck's sake, I'm stuck on the door. No. I'm letting my stream play in the background on my phone with like the um the Call of Duty one just to boost my watch time. Mm. So before you can even monetize your videos you have at least hundred subscribers, a hundred likes for any videos and like a hundred like a thousand view time or something like that. Something daft like that, anyway. Sounds like busy work. Fuck it. The walkie come out to play then, don't you? <laughs> Oh, uh, so, everything's all invisible at the minute. Fuck. Well, have you just spawned in? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it always does that. It's because you're spawning in, mate. <laughs> it was scary. Oh, I need to get you to set up your set uh, your audio as well, Jay, in a minute. Yeah. It's for a, for a when I stream. No, no, I've in the party chat, because when I stream, I can't hear your voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if it's just me and you, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh, did you say you was at Capacha Tab? KP? Oh. Oh, no. I thought you was at Capacha Tab. I remember this, the, the P, there's a second letter. Oh, okay. Obviously, I spawned where Craig died. Mm -hmm. And you've got all my guns. Good for you. Apart from, like, the only thing I didn't pinch was your vest because it was badly damp. Here is Rarines. Yeah. Oh, did you take the big backpack as well? <laughs> yeah. Thought you would. Told you, man, I, didn't, I had everything good. Like, I'd literally I'd spent like, a good few hours in the morning, like, just running to every military base. To be honest, sir, the only thing I didn't, the only thing I didn't grab was your jacket. Because I had, oh, um, a the BUD one already. Yeah. Fuck, mate, why is it really these fucking rubber slugs, man? Oh, the shit. I, I don't tend to pick them up, man. T too long to use. Oh, let me know when you're in a safe place, Jan. I'll tell you what to do with your settings on the party. What, how to do it all? Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Like, open the door and run up to the top and shut the door. <laughs> so you're just going to run around in a circle? So you're going to row feet? the bastards. The only thing I couldn't also pick up Craig was your fucking shotgun, man. You probably just have enough weight on you, sort of thing. Like carry weight. No, like, you couldn't actually pick it up. Oh. Because it was in your hands. Ah, uh, yeah.
to think I turned them down. <laughs> I think I can hear an actual fucking bear. <laughs> don't, don't go. Tickling the bear might kill ya. See, I'm just curious to how many bullets it's gonna take to kill one. Yeah. So, a shotgun sh slugs, I reckon you probably do like three or four shots. Like, consistently, sort of thing. Yeah. But it's just one of them ones you'd have to wait and see, innit? Yeah. Oh, you know what I was saying about um, that YouTube video that had like 32 views at the airport? Jay, the other day. I checked it this morning, it's gone down to 11 views. I don't know. Like, it, it, like I even remember it saying 32, because I said to you, 32 views. But it's now 11. Like, proper like what? Nah. I'm being robbed for views. Oh my god, you killed Kenny. Say fuck, Kenny. Because you're a bastard. <laughs> I'm just quickly playing, so I'm playing a game on my phone, so I'm doing this. I'm not trying to move. Nice to nice to know ya, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, I think I've just hit the town of Clown, or Shelm, or whatever it's called. Let's have a look. Yeah, I have. I see you, I'm fucking actually close to you. You ain't gonna be nowhere near me, I'm like top right. You're probably close to Jay. I think Jay will be east of you. Like slightly nor northeast, I'd say. Jay is from you. Yeah. One bomb! One bomb crew strikes again. <laughs> Swung Max at a zombie like five times earlier. So, like, what the fuck? Normally, it takes me two or one. You just didn't want to play the one bomber game, I don't think. Do, 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 do. Everybody now, Samuel likes mashed potatoes. Hey, that bodger and badger. Craig is the mashed potato. I'm the mashed potato king. <gasps> Do you like roast? Zombies around you. I remember what I was saying about um, how I'd find a car when I found that spark plug, and I was like, oh, I bet I'll find a car that I need a spark plug, so I'll carry the fucking spark plug just in case. Come across a car yesterday, guess what was missing? No radiator. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, for fuck's sake. What are wrong times? 
Come on, just have to start carrying them all. You fucking know me. Spark plug and a radiator. Don't worry, Craig, I did pick up that uh, spark plug there. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, man, it's always the way. Every car I come across is always missing a spark plug, apart from that one. So I keep new that I knew it's game. And they're like, nah, I'm just gonna fuck with you in it. Have a spark plug, you bastard. Thirteen. <laughs> and you got the mag for it, or are you like having to do shot by shot? Just pop it into single shot. You'll be fine. Hmm. Have you blacked out yet? Oh, that tree fucking sounded horrid. The tree creaked. But it sounded like a zombie going... At least I stopped climbing because I heard it. You're getting ready to fight. Have a scrap with a tree, man. I think I'll probably be best doing the fucking edge bus fucking tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not on the scorpion, I've noticed on the scorpion it doesn't. It worked on the, um, the M4, but like you saw. Yeah. I had, a, I had the same thing the other day, but with the suppressor, and they just kept running at me. something to limp about. Yeah, but you have to go and work on somebody's ass you don't want to. He he. Now some kids screaming in the garden like he's being murdered. Say again. Nah. Let's check my days, do you, Mark? Yeah, man. Got me axe. I'm here to get him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ca and com uh, camera bug. 
Wow, wow. Next nearest, next nearest town is over um, Kahima or fucking. I head to the military guys down the bottom. Fucking taking a biscuit though, is that any? Yeah, I thought he'd like make it a bit less just because it's a carrying item. Now go. Walk out the door. Oh, Craig, have you seen the new character on Apex? Nope. You're gonna laugh at this. Yeah. You're gonna laugh at this, it's just pretty much like, I mean, uh, the one who does the portals, Rift. Oh, yeah. Similar type of character. Yeah. Yeah, you never played Apex up here, Joe. That's alright. It's, it's funny though, like, um, I'll play. I've had more wins on my own than I have like playing with anybody online. Mm. Yeah. Apparently, if you fall into a bin, you are die. You won't die. <laughs> yeah, for Jay, do you know the islands? You can get across. Do you know the islands on the edge of the map? Do you have to swim there, or is there an actual like, Bow to something like that. Yeah, hot. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a church tower, I sort of think. Right, did you have that meeting? No. Literally, the meetings are meant to be every yeah. They're literally meant to be every Wednesday, one p.m. But they seem to be doing them every fucking Thursday. It's payday. That's why. Shit for me, man. It's like my place is open up, but I can't go back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm debating whether I want a new job or not. What is that? 
Oh no, it's just that place. It just feels like you get. It's hard to put it. Like you get promised so many things, and it just doesn't happen. Yeah. No, I think the thing is, what's pissed me off the most is like they've had people come back who I. They've been there less than me. We've done less over time as well. And people have been off on, uh, yeah. And people have been, people have been off absent as well, which was a bit of a big piss take. Was well, that your work? Yeah, at my work. It's like that. This fat fucker has been more. It's been on the sick more times than anybody else. It's like, is there any point you having a contract here? <laughs> thing is though is like you can't terminate a contract whilst they're off hill it's, it's a bit shit yeah like if they've been off like more than six months six months then you're allowed to sort of like say okay now you gotta start coming to work but then after that you can't really like if they turn up they turn up but if yeah. they don't then you can sack them it's just a very shit situation we had to do it at our work at once I felt bad when I had to sack Tom, like Luke's brother. Like, obviously I didn't want to because like obviously friends with Luke and everything. But like, end of the day, he just he just wasn't turned up to shifts. Like he'd ring ten minutes before a shift. Oh, I'm not coming in today. Uh, George is ill, or like I can't get a babysitter or nothing. It's like, dude, come on. And then in the end, he had a fucking pipe burst in his house. And like, um, it'd been a couple of days he'd had to sort it, and then on the day his next shift was like, we, we gave him five days off to sort it, and then on that last day we needed him back, and he was like, ten minutes before it, nah, I'm not coming back, I was like, so what, are you telling me you're quitting, or, and he was like, nah, I've got to sort stuff at the at home, but I can't come to it, I was like, you, you literally at the point now where, if you tell me you're not coming, like, this is your chance, you're either coming today, or I'm, I'm going to have to, like, let you go today. And he chose like to start home like anyone would, but like it was the fact is we gave him five days, so it was a bit like, come on, man. So it's like odd situation at top, like when you got to do that. Yeah, like the choice was coming or lose his job. Like, so I couldn't really force him. Like I didn't force him to quit. The choice was his, but in the end, I had to sack him because of the choice. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, when there was a fucking that little mansion type base. Fuck that. Yeah. It's not the best of things, really, is it? Hodge, Hodgson, Hodgkiss, that one, yeah, well you had him working with you as well for a bit. Exactly. <laughs> it's like a 
Oh, I got Aaron Neer's job at the Gators when he went like, whilst he was working at the Gators. So I got his job there. And then when he left to go to join Marston's pub, that brand, in a different company, uh, he got blacklisted. And like, uh, he, did, he doesn't know much about why he got blacklisted, but it was because of his old boss. But like, I managed to talk to his manager and get my manager to sort it so he could come back and work at a different site. Just, just but like, because my boss knows how hard Aaron can work. But like, his old boss, Kev, is just a bit of a prick. Like, even though I don't like Kev. It's like, uh, before I joined the company again, I had a trial about, when I was 16, so about 10 years ago, I had a trial at the Bradmore. I did uh, two months as a trial through like uh, the Trinity training thing. I did two months there. On my last, on the last two weeks that Kev joined, like he took over the pub. And um, on my last day, um, when I finished, I was like, you'll have to get in contact with me if you want me to come back. Like, literally, I've done my time. This is where you've got to say, you can either keep me, employ me, and then go from there. And then, like, I was like, you just got to contact the college and they'll sort it. Fucking never got in contact. And it wasn't until like, I recently joined where I'm at now, like, about five years ago, where he was like, yeah, he wanted me to come back. He just didn't have contact details. And I was like, bro, you should have asked me on that last day. I said, yeah, I can give you the contact details. I was like, no, no, I've got them all. Like, fucking bell end. But like, when, when he saw me, as like, when he heard that, like, when he found out who was running the kitchen, he came and, like, introduced himself, like, when we opened. And he's like, I oh, know you, don't. I was like, yeah, I worked for you. Like, like, I had fucking two months trial, and I worked with you for two weeks. You never hired me, you cunt. <laughs> it's all right, though. He's a bit of a tit at times. Like, uh, I went to a cook-off a couple months back, and he was there. It's like we were in the same area, so like we all get to the cook-offs together. Yeah, it's like when, when you release the new menu, you send your KM and your second to go learn the menu, and then they pass on the new information to the others. But um, he was there with his KM, and he's like doing like some hand, like as if he's scratching some discs in the air, like a DJ disc in the air. He's like doing that with his hands. I was like, what are you doing, spinning a record? He's like, nah, I'm looking for, looking for some blue roll. Not that your kitchen knows about how to use it. I was like, what? I was like, this is coming from the guy whose kitchen just had two star NFFs three times in a row. I was like, mate, you can talk when you get a five star like my kitchen. <laughs> he died like they walked off in a straw. <coughs> I was like, don't, don't come chatting shit to me about cleanliness when your kitchen only got a two star. Greg, I'm joking here, man. Stop. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think the worst one... Worst one at my place, you. man. Fucking... When we have somebody who I like, used to work with, they come and ask me. They say, rare, rare this, rare, rare that. We had one who said he was an actual supervisor. I was like, no he wasn't. When he was below me, he was learning off me. Yeah. And I went... Is unreliable. He goes, "What do you mean?" I go and do, go and ask to do a drug test on him because I can tell you now he's fucking baked. Yeah, yeah. But like, you turn around to say like he's a supervisor at Delta, man. There's no way he was a supervisor. So I find it funny at my work at the minute, but when when we were open, like. Obviously, every month we'd all get set different jobs, like different tasks. So like, one month I'd train the new staff, and then Paul or Kate would do something else. So I think like we'd all have different areas to focus on. And um, the once she was like, "Oh, Craig, I need you to sort this out." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "This ain't what you've asked me to do this month." I was like, "You need to show Katie how to do it properly." And then Dee was like, nah, I haven't got the time to. I was like, well, don't expect me to cover your ass then. And then a couple months later, like, she fucked up big time. I was like, and like, I pulled to one time, and I goes, who's showing you how to do this? And she's like, Paul. And I goes, that's why. I was like, do you want me to show you the correct way of how to do it? And literally, all it was, it was as simple as just putting a food order on. That's all it was. That's all, all she had to do. But, like, um, Paul had shown her a way, which would take you, like, two hours in total to, like, Walk through the fridge freezer, see exactly what you need, cross-reference your sales, and then input it into the order. 
But when she got to the order process, she's pointing in one by one by one by one by one. Like entering every product code, selecting the quantity, adding it to the basket, get to the next one. When I'd already set up a template, which Paul knew, where literally all you had to do was load up the template and then it's like loaded up ready. So you go, what, five of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, four of them, two, two, one, one. Like straightforward shit, you know what I mean? It's just, uh. It's like, you know, when they say you can't teach stupid. Sort of thing. It's like Paul, he's the KM. But my boss doesn't even class him as the KM. But she's the kitchen manager. She'd, she'd class me as the KM, like, she'd go to me if something was wrong, not him. But, like I say to her, though, if that's the case, why have you still got him around? But it's just, it's, it's because it's one of her friends, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. But it... Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing his job on £9 an hour, where I should be getting 28 grand a year doing his job. You know what I mean? But it's a big difference. Like, I think I worked here, it's like, it's like at least 10 grand difference. Yeah. But like, she's... She, She's one of his closest friends, but because he also helps her out when the short on front of ace is there for that help. But it's like, well, if you want him out front of ace, you put him out front of ace and you hire me into that position. It's one of them ones. That's sort of why I asked to get to a new site, and which is why I should be going to a new site. But at the minute, it's just all in the air, isn't it? I don't really do much. Can opener? Hey! I haven't seen one of them in a while. I actually broke a can opener the other day, you know, when we was at the airport. I think stuff like that should just be like invincible. Punched her with a can of beer or something. <laughs> Makes me wonder if it like gives you. I wonder if like it does give you like a damage buff just for having that can in your hand. You know what I mean? Oh, was your one when I uppercutted a zombie? <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, yeah, shit. Um, yeah, getting a bit of a knock, I'm really for it. Let me lock my door. No, no, uh, so go in the party, like our actual party chat. Just gotta wait for mine to load. And then party settings. And then. Yeah, yeah on the big one. And then onto the settings, and then allow voice to be shared onto always. Bye.
You've been speaking to Boo? Yeah. Telling me about, like, um, Richard's fucking handiwork. Who's in there? Um, he's actually done some manual labour without telling his fucking permission. Oh. What's he done? Um, basically, the, the god. I was going to say, has he made some yeah. loose um, stilettos for himself? <laughs> nah. Nah. Uh, fucking, um... Like, their garden, it's just, like, in the middle. Yeah. And, like, all the sun's in the back garden. And, like, Hannah's aunt, he's came round. Hannah said she can't sit in the garden with Spencer until we get... Because there's no shade. Ah, uh, so he's made some, like, little shaded area for it. Yeah. Fair play. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God, he's done that without being Tony approved. <laughs> Just turn him around about everything while I let him do anything, so like he's a bit. How to put it, he's a bit damaged in a sense. Hey, Tony, the caretaker or Richard the Tranny? <laughs> um, both of them are actually, to be honest. <laughs> both of them are a bit damaged. Just be thinking about it. Well, going off their names, probably. Um, I'd think he'd be more funny as Tony the Tranny though. It just works. <laughs> yeah, GG. It's funny though because he goes like, oh, "I must be gay. I must be gay because Richard's gay." And I was like, "Do you know? You're just like lucky. Like you are. You've got a wife. <laughs> you got a wife, and you can't be gay. Yeah, but I like men too. I mean, that's bisexual, not gay. You fucking plank. No, I'm gay." Oh, me. Oh, have, you told, have you told Jay about when we went wine tasting and he knocked over the display? Oh, mate. <laughs> we went wine tasting for my, like, obviously for the wet, like, my wedding and Hannah's. Yeah, yeah. Craig doesn't drink wine. And I don't drink wine. I'm getting there fucking hyper. And Beth's just there like, oh shit, what the fuck are these two doing now? I was there, like, pay attention, and drinking and actually tasting. Matt, I'm not necking glasses at the point. At this point, <laughs> as yeah. soon as the glasses put in, I'm tasting. I'm like, that's not ours. Glass gone. Um, fucking, there's like this display with like, how, how much were the bottles? Like forty, fifty quid a bottle. Fifty quid a bottle. Fucking twenty-eight fucking bottles on the fucking display. <laughs> Craig knocked the one. It just dropped. I was like. Oh shit. I, I, I literally, oh, I was lucky, I got the toe to me, you know, like last touch. I was like, yeah. ooh. But like, mate, like, I had to sort of grab the others as those falling in my hand. I thought, like, oh, that was a bit close. I had a fucking big money that way. Oh no. Oh, I would have gone to fucking help you, I tried to catch him and not the rest of her. <laughs> yeah, that wine shop's gone now. Has it? Yeah. Oh, cool. It was actually Just... doing. They've Craig gone to more on online. Yeah. They've got more <laughs> online. <laughs> to be honest. Oh, that's not too bad. At least they're still open in a sense. Yeah. I fucking went into Loki's man no once and I just don't like it. Hmm. Cause there's, you know, you had people trying to force, they're trying to force it on you, like, not complete. They're forcing stuff on you that you don't want. Yeah. They're more about the sales, then. You know, I've got some good selection ties. <laughs> I can't mind because Richard bought me that fucking, um. That dot, the black gin bottle. Yes. I was brewed in Wolver It's actually brewed in Wolverhampton. That was like fucking. Shit, no, it was. Like I had to pull it. <laughs> it was better as. It was like more of a, like a licorice liqueur, to be honest. But like, what have you mixed it with? It changed the flavour. So, like, I mixed one with lemonade. It made it more like blackjack. Cool. 
And like, so like, just mixing it with tonic, it was just... You could taste the junipers more than anything. I've still like, got half a bottle of that gin you got me. That up here one? Yeah. It's fucking bad out that one. Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't like mixing it with cheap lemonade. Like, and that's what my mum yeah. tends to buy. So I don't drink it much. It has to be like of um, shrimps. Mm -hmm. You have to mix it over with shrimps or something, don't you? Yeah, or is it R Smiths? Is it? Uh, whites. Yeah, that's it. R whites. I got one around Christmas time as well, which tastes like hot cross buns. Ooh. I think I've, so, do you know like everybody does this like Palmer Violet fucking like yeah. try where they do the Palmer Violet one? Do you know who's been better on all that? Which one? It has to be in the fucking um the Aldi's one. Hmm. They did like a glitter Palmer Violet. Sounds good. Oh, I think this small, is small bottle. Oh, I can't like nine quid. Oh, two seconds, door's knocking. There's like proper sweets as well, so. In the door, there are the delivery drivers. Yeah. Like he really wants to give me more parcel. Yeah, have it, have it. Fucking take have it. Have it. Why <laughs> just leave it? Or like up a normal porch up, not the door. Shut all the ports and run. <laughs> it's funny watching him run down the drive because the car actually. Physically ruined. For times. What do the park on? Oh no, I'm thinking of your old days, you know. No word. Uh. I was gonna say, your old days. Did they used to park on the main road or something before, with, like for parcels? The one drive. I did. But, like the one driver, fucking um, left it in the fucking post office day like a dick because he didn't want to walk down. Lazy fucker. And I had it in the fucking neck over that. I was like, hang on. But. I did say leave it at so and so's fucking number. If you choose not to do it, hang on me. Yeah, definitely. You just leave it by the fucking bin if I hate you. Always. Uh -huh. Chuck it down the side of the bins. Oh, I've yeah. had one chuck it in the purple bin before. <laughs> in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it's in the bin. Alright. I was like, lucky it's not fucking like. Fucking bin down, I've gone home late at night and I've not clocked the fucking receipt and I've come in the morning, it's gone. <laughs> oh, that. It just amazes me how they've still got a fucking job. Some of these. It's like the one. Do you know what my fucking old ass? He fucking lobbed it over the back garden face. Fence. Just said, left it ha left in house and all this. Saying it's been delivered. Yeah. He only fucking chucked it into a fucking puddle about a fucking an inch deep. <laughs> I like, spoke to the guy, I went, look, I went, there's electrical goods in here. I went, that ain't on, I want, I want reimbursing for the delivery because that is a piss take. Got my reimbursement back on the delivery, so. I told you before I was working on this, uh, the, the bloke had chucked, chucked it over the gate. They realised it was a garage, like they had a roof on it. Can I use your other clothes? I had to come in. Nah, you could just about get onto the roof, like, but he had to climb on the roof and go and get it. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you now. Has he gone through the roof? Fucking yes. hard laugh. I'll be in stitches. I remember the once when I was at work, um, we got these systems called Ansel systems, mm. built into like uh, the vents. Ansel. Yeah, they're built into the vents, it's like our extraction unit. No, oh, no, okay. um, Ansel, the Ansel system is basically, um, 
our last case of emergency in cases of fire. So like, um, if yeah. there's a fire that we can't control, we pull the answer system. It like just shoots foam everywhere, and like, it's like a really pungent chemical. Like it takes like three days to clean. Like, so you shut your business for three days, and it's like costs you ten grand to even pull the system. So like, that's how much of a last resort it is. And clock midnight. Now I have to get back at work for five. So as I'm leaving, the guys come to to like do the system. And like the boss, yeah. the manager lives in house, so he sorts it anyway. And he said to him, he's like, "Oh, do what you gotta do, and just lock the back door." And then like that's it. That's all we need to do. Like obviously, because the boss lives in, no one's gonna rob the place. Yeah, so yeah. I've gone home about twelve midnight. Come back to work about five o'clock in the morning, so I open up for six. Walked in the kitchen, they're still there. I like, why are you still here? And I've walked in the kitchen. Yeah, they've set off the answer system, is not they? As they were putting the gas, the canister back in, they fucking knocked the pin and it's just gone off everywhere. So I've literally, I've had to ring the boss at five o'clock in the morning because I didn't want to go and disturb him. I'm like, you need to come downstairs. <laughs> yeah, fucking, couldn't open the pub for like three days. <laughs> but I had to help him clean it up, sort of thing. <laughs> so I was like, for fuck's sake, like, well, like, because uh, we used to work next door to the fucking, um, Pre uh, Premier Inn, we had to send all them to fucking Mackey's for breakfast. <laughs> so like they were oh, too the happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like they were happy that they had to get fucking Mackey's for breakfast and everything. And like my boss were happy because he had to like call everybody in first thing in the morning to help clean up to get open for the next few days. Fuck man, I'll oh, kill this zombie. I'm meeting him? Yeah, I fucking meeting him. He's a special kind of zombie. Who's he? To Sam. Ugh. Or is he ducking and diving? No, he's nah, just special. he just, if I register on him. <laughs> I had to lock him in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. I can't bandage him. Uh. No, I have to reset. Oh, he's still there. I'm going blow his fucking head off. <laughs> what, with a grenade? <laughs> Open the door. Grenade well, door! I've got some grenades as well. No, my look like it. He'll run out. Fucking end up killing me or something. I'm at the end of the fucking map. On the bottom left. Nice. There's nothing here, as usual. Bottom left. Just walk, walk yeah. across the road for a bit. There's a military checkpoint. Yeah, I got that. I've already been there. Ah. Uh, well, sorry. I tried to. Yeah. Ah. And the rainbow lollipop. So I might have a walk down to Rock Canal. Or do I go to Polina and then down to Catapo? Yeah, might go Catapo. And then from Catapo, I can sort of make my way to Bumo. Mm. Well, I'm uh, just going to that. Where are you going? Cap Capin Cobo. And then there's Hobbin, Cobo as well. Uh, I'm just coming through Hob, Hobbin. Fucking hell, I know all these fucking names are hard to say. <laughs> oh, me mate, are you in the prison? <laughs> you cunt. What a bastard. I shall open a different door in a minute, he'll slap me. <laughs> My blood just went to fucking yellow as well. Don't wanna fuck around. Lots of rubber slugs. Slugs. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get back to you, Joe, alright. Okay, okay. Well, will you two bite each other then? Yeah. Well, I'm not <laughs> that far. You should find it. 
I've got abandonment issues. Called a big issue. Just leave you. Have a tissue. Oh, baby, he's on his gun. What a prick. Surely you should have really been there. Uh, yeah, we set on that, is it? Nah. And lock 91. I've already got one. I've, I've got started a using that as well. Yeah, M lock. Yeah. Shoot quite quick, I think. I got an M lock, FX, and a C C C R Z. C R Z. Twenty-five or fifty-two. Something like that. Huh? Yeah. Uh, fucking hell! I was making sure it wasn't working yeah, out in the sun. Remember to drink plenty, Sam. I am drinking plenty. Plenty of beer. So I day, come on. We can finish off the bottle of vodka. We might come around here or we should be a god. I should be a god. I should come around and have something to say. <laughs> to have a lie down there. He says he got home, fucking threw up everywhere. <laughs> when was that yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, yeah. That's where they bother coming. I, I, load, I loaded the PlayStation on, I was like, fuck it, yeah, actually, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> oh, I can fell asleep on the sofa. I mean, it's okay. I was like, Jay, I've been on today, has he? He was like, I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, Sim came on for the better part of 10 minutes on his PlayStation I've reached I saw something on the chat load that he's played. Yeah, it was a proper fuck. Like, he, he could only have like a few hours, like half hour game playing, and then it just go off. Fuck you know. I was pissed about that. Is it getting dark? Or is my man just fucked? I think your man's no, fucked. No, he, he is going dark. <sighs> Probably a bit of both, though. But... Just turn the fucking head torch on. That seem to have been a difference. Oh, I've got this guy on TikTok who cleans like loads of consoles and whatnot. And he did yeah. one the other day. Fucking had a cockroach infestation inside of a PlayStation. What the fuck? Well, literally, the fan... Cockroaches inside the PlayStation. Oh God knows, the fan was covered in shit, like cockroach shit, like it was all brown and like there was like all around the edges and everything. It's like, oh. how can you let your PlayStation get that dirty? Like, I, I'm, I'm thinking of cleaning mine tomorrow, just in general, because I haven't cleaned it in about a year. Yeah. But like, just seeing that, I was like, fucking hell, like, there were live cockroaches and dead cockroaches in the machine itself. Yeah. I might fucking clean mine. <laughs> I don't even fucking clean it. Not properly anyway. Well, I tend to go around the outside of it with a cotton bud every now and then. But that's as far as yeah, I'll go. Yeah, that's all I do, yeah. I'm fucking yeah. Blow, blow in the vents, like. No, you don't want to blow in them. Ah. I'll probably fuck it. See, I'll fuck the fan off. Ah. I might. Order one of those um, pressurised air cans to sort of help blow some of the air, the dust out once I take the things apart. Yeah. 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 Suck it really, yeah. Suck all the gas. Yeah. That's what they're doing there, aren't they? <laughs> so those them canisters are really. Eh? <sighs> I've got to give the bike a run tomorrow. I just got to go and finish that job off in the morning. I've only got one door left to do, only. Not too bad. Then I get, then I get some money off you. Then I've got to give me fucking. I've got new, three new tyres on my fucking car. So that money's gone already, pretty much. Oh, what, from your payday? <laughs> nah, not my payday. Just oh. from that job. Three new tyres, fill the tank up. How much your tyres are going to cut you? Ah, right, sure. I don't know whether to have fucking part ones or just get new ones. New one. It's just gonna probably cost you about. Let's 
certainly to find a piece. For them. Yeah. Then there's a set. They fit in as well. Ones are a bit bigger than the front ones, aren't they? Yeah, they're a lot wider. Shrocko is actually has bought built more like of a, an actual hot hatch to challenge the fucking focus, weren't it? S two. That's fucking annoying, but whatever. Uh, whatever it is, you gotta play it there. Yeah. I'll take it over to Martini Tires. They're pretty good. What Martini Town is in Wooden Hall? Yeah, on the Wooden Hall Road. Oh, there's one one by the park out there. One on the Wooden Hall Road, and then one up like Watery Lane. Watery yeah. Yeah. The, wa the Watery Lane is just by my fucking industrial site. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is there security hardware there? Yeah. Yeah. I we use that a lot, security all day. Okay, uh, do you know the Yeah, uh, do you know the big fucking factory you do on the lot you know when you go through the fucking the water and line industrial estate? Yeah. On the first building on the left, man. Oh so. Kind of and were you just fucking <laughs> You'd have to fuck right, they're stingy at that place. What place? Sorry. My place. Ah. What? Some works. Oh, like. yeah. <laughs> Mate, it's, um, I've had to buy all my own tools and that. Ah. Because of, um, people fucking pinching them and that. Motherfuckers. It's obviously, like, do you know when people fucking, like, Back in the day, when people was leaving, they took their tall boxes with them. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll buy all my own tools. Yeah, so like, everyone's been told to buy their own tools. Whereas I don't buy my own tools, I asked my dad to get me some tools. Haha. -ha. Dad, uh, oh, what you... Dad, I need this. I need this, Alan Kiss. Can you get me Imperial Metric? Um, also, can I have some fucking welding gloves? Cause, because what I got is shit. And I want some die picks. He says, fuck off. No, he actually gets them. He actually gets them for me for free. Oh, so, you know, I'm, la I'm kind of laughing, you know? Yeah. I'll come in and get some free tools off him. Ha ha. It's, very, I'm, I'm fucking it's not very hot, it's not. I'll go in the tool yeah. shop without buying something. I'm a fucking nightmare. You know, it's probably the worst thing though. This fucking supervisor pinches my measuring equipment, man. And he fucking damages them. <laughs> Kid you not, he's probably spent about fucking 150 quid replacing Bernie's for me. And tight measures. Fucking prick. Mate, fucking everybody robs tape measures out there. Yeah. No, no, don't touch me there. This is. You know, unless you got a gay job and work in the kitchen. Yeah, man. Yeah. Fish you in a minute. Eh? Oh, what? Uh, nothing. What? Oh, mate, this zombie just died. Wasn't having it, man. I tell you what, though, working in the kitchen is funny ass shit. Just the amount yeah, of pranks you put on each other. Yeah, the one time I had uh, this lad, about 18 years old, he was. I said to him, "Oh, jump on top of the um the gantry and like clean the top of it." And like he's there the working. Or, yeah, it's like uh, where you put all the food, like to keep under the lights, to keep warm before you send it off. Okay. So like, jump on the side and like get the top of it a white down because it's a bit dusty up there. So he's there, he's working away, and like, all I can see is his fucking arse crack. So I've gone, gone into the fridge, I've pulled that, like, we cook off the sausage, I've pulled that, I've pulled out a cooked sausage. <laughs> I've just rammed it down the back of his trousers. <laughs> he shit himself and dropped off the pass, like, straight to the floor. I'm literally crying. <laughs> you evil little sod. 
I played this game as well. There's this lad called Shane, and he's bald. Yeah. So he played this game, what can stick to Shane's head today? And we green, <laughs> like, just finding objects in the kitchen just to stick to his head. <laughs> so I've stuck a banana to his head before, like a slice, a slice of banana. I've stuck one there on his head. Fucking cheese slices, cucumbers, tomatoes, you name it, it's all gone on his head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? I don't know whether to keep the CR 75 or the FX 45. They're pretty much the same, but one shoots 45 APC and the other shoots 9 mils. It's up to you. you got any. Oh, I've got the M lock that shoots nine miles as well. So I'll well, keep the M lock see and keep the one watch shoots the other one. Yeah, the yeah, LSCR. Because you don't need to have the same gun using the same ammo. Well, two of the guns using the same ammo, do you? See, I'd prefer yeah. to have two using the same ammo, especially if you have abundance of it. Like when we had all the UMP, the forty fives, and I was running UMP and the. Yeah, it's two pistols, aren't it? Ah, true, I need yeah. two pistols. Mm. Yeah, I, I liked it when I had the USG in the, the other one. Uh, it? Amazon. Ooh! Hang on. Are they. What do you. It's all there. Uh... No, no, don't touch me there. Refund. Oh, this is sweet. They've just refunded me. For what? Um, handle like a dick. Do you know, like, how she gets all excited saying, like, oh, I want this, I want that? So I told her to get no, a fucking really cash for a tablet numbers of times. Yeah. And fucking, uh, she finally bought one. I went, are you sure it's the right size? And it's like, yeah, I'm sure it's the right size. Uh, you're sure it's a 10 inch? Alright, it looks bigger than a 10 inch. Yeah, but it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking, she ordered, the wrong, she ordered the wrong fucking case for a fucking tablet, man. I had a good laugh about inches before at work. We was uh, me and the boss, D. I was in the office and we was like, oh, do we need any new plates? I was like, yeah, I could do a couple. I was like, okay, then. So, like, we needed some oval plates. You know the sizzler boards we do, Sam? Yeah. The, them uh, white plates. We needed some more of them. And she's looking, and, like, they're all in inches. And, like, she's like, oh, I don't know which one's which. And she's like, go and get a plate and see if there's a ruler or anything anywhere. Do you have a ruler or anything? And then she's like, oh, how are we going to work this out? And she's like, how big would you say it is? <laughs> so, you know, when you, like, use your fingers sort of, to, like... Yeah. Measure it. And I goes, nine inches. And she's like, what do you mean, nine inches? I goes, nine inches. She's like, what do you mean? I goes, just just believe it, I know what nine inches is, D. <laughs> and like she's there, I was like, hey, do you know that? And I goes, well, let's, let's put it like this. Something between that thumb and that finger is the exact same length, and the plates are the exact same size. <laughs> and she was just pissing herself laughing. <sighs> Like, I didn't want to sort of say, yeah, my knob's nine inches, sort of thing. I was like, I don't know what nine <laughs> inches is, love. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Man. And she's like, so this big is a one. deep conversation. So she's like, so <laughs> big that plate. And I was like, that's about 13. <laughs> but like, we were just pissing ourselves laughing in the office, like, hey, how many inches is that one then? About 12. <laughs> it's just one of them things. I was like, wouldn't you know what a certain length is? You know what that size, don't you? Mm -hmm. uh, you dirty bastard. Indeed. Oh, Craig, remember fucking Alicia's birthday? We did that session in your fucking te in the back garden. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe fucking Damien jumped in a tent fucking on top <laughs> of Jake fucking stalkers. Yeah. What's While the other Jake was <laughs> yes! <laughs> Man, that was funny. Eh? Oh, I just found a cult. But the question is, has it got a mag? No. What? 
How funny was it that I love fucking being awkward because it was around yours? Yeah. Uh, fun times. No, it was you trying to fucking fix your tent in the fucking start ball at night, kid. Yeah. I'm trying to find a tent at the minute. It's making a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me to get the mass fucking really bad fight out of you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember the time she knocked herself out. Laura. <laughs> Wasn't that because of Jake fucking going, hello? No, no, no. Different time. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to jump in house. I'm going for a piece. Bear with me. Joe, you stay in camp, camp about? Nah. Well, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Captain, what's my name? Captain. Cobo. Cobo. Big Cobo. Like, Captain Cobo. I mean, Captain Cobo. No. Nah. Believe. Has he got like um docks with shipping containers? Nah, no, nah, it's inland. It's inland. Oh, I'm on the edge. In a bottle. Yeah. Um, like, towards the the airfield. I'm not far from the airfield, to be honest. Yeah, I think I might start going inland from um Capabo on the on the coast. Yeah. Just to get a bear central where I am. I'm back, motherfuckers. Oh, damn. I got a damn goddamn. Honey, no. No, no, don't touch me there. This is my no no square. So to say, um, my stab vest is completely ruined now. Didn't Laura bang her off you fucking bug bed? Yeah. While you was banging. Yeah, that's when she knocked herself out. Come back around, she's like, why am I naked? To be honest, I didn't know whether to carry on or not. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Motherfucker. Oh, I lost it, I was too busy laughing. <laughs> God damn it! It's a bit like Donkey Punch, in a sense. Come on, pal. Very damn poor. I'm happy. <laughs> Can I take I you long? What? Uh, to find an M4? Nah. Alright, oh, I'm gonna head towards Boff in a sec. I haven't found a file. Found a stock for it, Jess. Don't Which talk about it. Don't talk about it, you bastard. Okay. I'm still. What, the law? No, the, yeah, the law. That's how the file, it is the file. Fucking hell. This SK, I put. All the bullets in it. Fuck, it takes forever to unload it. Oh, yeah, because I was doing it one by one. Yeah. Oh, no. I want ice cream. I'll just have an ice cream. You're a fat fuck. I know. Oh, you know, with the burlap sacks, you can put them on your head. <laughs> Wait, what well, would you want to? No, in case you wanted to, like, tie him up at one point. I've got the handcuffs you can't get out of. 
Oh, okay, maybe you can't. Oh, you can. What? <laughs> can you actually get out of the handcuffs? Uh, no, I've got. I've put the sack on my head. <laughs> oh. Fun times. <laughs> ah, I don't want to. Shit and giggles, eh? No, no, don't touch me with her. So you safe to say Aaron is not coming back on? Probably not. That's the best. I'm just going to take my PlayStation upstairs. Never comes back on. I don't know what you're just saying, you know. Yeah. And, and nobody's gonna be bothered if he goes off. No. He always does that though, don't you, Aaron? That moans about all this yeah. and all that. Yeah, he's a bit of a winger. Dash, why get loud Yeah, uh, you know, the gun clinic does gonna have to be extremely like um damaged for you to use it. No, I think you can use no, it. No, I think it's just when it's yellow you can use it. Okay, makes sense. Is about what I don't need. I keep finding there uh, 30 APCs, 380 APCs. Don't need them though. Don't need that. Well, I've it's just found a that. fucking scorpion, so I might as well take it now. Did I pick up a mag for it though? <laughs> I did indeed. Fuck it, that can go now. Give your pardon. Potatoes. Oh, fuck off rubber slugs, I don't want ya. Yeah, the scorpion I just found had a fucking uh, suppressor already on it, ready to go. Damn. Oh, sweet. Fucking rubber slugs, most disgusting thing ever. Before you took them out of the game completely. Nah, I just uh, decreased the amount. I think they might need to decrease them again, Greg. I'm probably up. What percentage did you put the book and um, thingy on? The what? The slug rounds on. Uh, there was like 60. Yeah. Probably need to just touch them up a little bit more and debuff the fucking slug uh, rubber ones a bit more. Not much, more. I don't know, say like 10%, like another 10.
A tight 20 off on the rivers. Fucking hell, I just clipped him in the head. My shoulders back to starting to get back to normal now. I'm only like one kilometre out from Bop or um, one kilometre out from uh, Nababo. Okay. Uh, oh, or can carry on towards um, Comabo, but. Uh, action. Uh, Nababo, uh. Oh, I'm gonna go towards fucking being gay. Bop. Bop. <sighs> Let's give me two seconds. I've got to go and take a fucking gas read. Gas reader meeting. in here first. I've got that song you made because of Luke. <laughs> has he been on today, has he, Luke? Nah, yeah. Comes into our game, blows us up and whatnot. And gets a song stuck in your head. Mm. Bastard.
Dat is fucking piss. So, so. Okay, we're trying to shoot one in the bomb tanker. Any more? No. Okay. Yeah, it's really not nice me anymore. Shooting you over the fucking face. But, uh, must be good. I'm gonna come off soon, I think. Okay, look, get hungry. Okay, no. <laughs> no, no, don't touch me. Uh oh. Two seconds. Yeah. 